Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Kyle Donahue Show, where we cover everything on the court with the Chucky Duke Lady Black Knights basketball team. As always, I'm joined here with head coach Kyle Donahue. Coach, how are you doing this I'm week? I'm doing great. Welcome in. How was Thanksgiving break? It was good. It was good. We had some some family in town, so we got to got to have a good Thanksgiving. How was yours? It was good. I traveled to North Carolina. I've got family over there, so awesome. sat there. Watch college football all weekend. There you go. It's always fun when you've got it on Friday and Saturday. That's true. And, and when, your t- when your team's good, it's even better, right? That's true. Go I notes. saw you were uh, very animated on Twitter this very, past week. Very, very animated. I yeah. always have to be when you get a rivalry win. Yeah, yeah. And and people are talking about a, uh, an undefeated team being left out of the playoff, but that's for another story, another day. We're Here's the good news. I'm not here to talk about it. Go ahead. You win, you're in. So we say. Who knows? You Who win, knows? you're in. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm taking your word for it. Let's but it but here's the bad news for you. You lose, but the you're good out. news for yep. me. I need you to lose for me to get in. Well, that's not going to happen. Well, so Sorry, Texas. We'll see you Saturday. If you like Texas, I'm sorry. Sunday. Sunday, I think, is when they do Sunday, the yep. selections. Yep. And the bowl games are released. Yep. But go Cardinals. We're, we're close. Today's, uh, what, Thursday? Yep. We're close. You got an important game tonight? Got University yep. High coming in? Yep. Before we talk about that, though, let's go on the past a little bit. Okay. Let's talk about the previous two weeks. They don't know. We'll go ahead and say it, though. We had one recorded. <laughs> we had one. I don't know what happened. I got home, plugged the SD card into the laptop. It was fried. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the recording. Tried to recover it. It was 18 minutes of a solid black screen with no audio. All that talking and good talk for nothing. I know. Oh, so well. you've had a few games already. You had, <laughs> I think, two Hall of Fame nights mm-hmm. with Northview and Hancock County. Yeah. And then you had the Hardys Classic. And then you had a game against Cherokee, your first, I guess, regular season yep. home and away series game against Cherokee. Take me through those. You don't have to give me a full in-depth summary, but just give me an overall summary of your season up to this point through two weeks. So we're three and three. Um, we've had we've battled some good teams. Uh, like I told, I think Tate the other day, uh, it's a good test for us to to play better teams. You know, we played Northview and they they played really well um, and did a lot of things that hurt us. Um, and then we came back home for Hancock, and, and we played really well. Um, I was I was really proud of the bounce back, and, and then we went to the Hardys. The reason we were in the Hardys is, um, you know, to be tested. We want to be tested, and we, we played three really good teams. Uh, we came away with one win and, and fourth place. Um, so we were happy about the fourth place, um, you know, but we played some really good teams, and we saw a lot of things that we needed to work on and, and correct. And uh, coming into uh, Tuesday night, I feel like we did a lot of good things. Um, from that tournament that we talked about, I feel like we did a lot of good things. We still got to be able to shoot better. Um, you know, that's, that's a constant thing we've talked about. But I liked our hustle, I liked our intensity, and I liked um, how we controlled the tempo. I know something that we talked about after your game against Crockett. I think so far through that game, which was four games into the season, you had had a different leading score every yeah. single game. Yeah. That's the exact same conversation we had right. a year prior at the Hardys Classic. Right. Talk about how you're able to mm-hmm. have different players step up in different nights and be able to lead you in scoring where you don't have that one solid star on your Right, team. so in, in our system we want to keep coming in waves like we've talked about. We want to we want to play fast and, and play as hard as we can and then have a tag out and have someone else play as hard as they can uh, for three, four, five minutes. Um, so, you know, it... it we want to get people in the rhythm. Um, we right now are missing shots. That's the, our biggest issue right now is we're missing shots, missing easy easy shots. Uh, I think when we get that, our our scoring will start going up and and a lot of people. But it's nice to have different scorers um, on different nights, so you can't necessarily key on one person. Uh, but what our coaching staff talks about a lot is you know there's there's so much more than scoring that that. The average fan or, or anybody watching doesn't see. You know, we still have to get rebounds. We still have to get assists. Uh, we've got to play great defense. So, yeah, you know, everybody focuses on scoring. But if we can have all 12 people on varsity that move in the same direction and are are one, and everyone's taking every job, uh, that's when we'll start being uh, able to to be a success, uh, and, and it leads into a successful season. You know, we. We look at those scoring things and we're we're excited, you know. But the ball doesn't care who scores. Yeah. Um, so we've got to get it in the bucket, but we've also got to play solid defense as a team, rebound as a team, uh, and do all the little things that it takes to win um, for us to be successful. You've had a gauntlet of a schedule so far this yeah. season too. I know we talked about how Northview was a tough test last week. Whenever mm-hmm. we came in here, we'll talk about that again. But also adding on Crockett and Lakeway Christian Academy since the last time we yeah. talked. 
you've had a pretty tough schedule so far this year, and that's only going to benefit you going forward too because once you get into conference play where you get a little lighter competition compared to those upper classifications, it'll better you going forward. Yeah, uh, and don't forget about Providence. Uh, they Correct. lost Addie Wilhoyt, but they were still pretty pretty solid. Um, yeah, that's – we wanted to challenge ourselves at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, at the in basketball, you want to have the best record you can. But at the end of the day, it's about getting better as the season goes along. We want to be the best we can be, and I think last year uh, we did that. As the season went along, we got better and better uh, as we got into tournament time, and and so we wanted to really challenge ourselves as we got towards uh, the start of our conference season. Uh, and like we talked about last time, um, you know, your season is made up of different quarters, different periods, you know, this is the, the pre-conference period, and I thought we came out well, 3-3 three and three was was um, a good, it's a good record, um, we, we got shell-shocked a couple times, and, and that's going to happen, but um, as we talk to the girls, we've got to be about the next play, we can't keep looking back at what happened on the next play, and that's the same thing with games, um, we got to take it, learn from it, um, see what we did well, what we didn't do well, and, and move on. And, and, you know, it's a long season. It Very seems like long. it goes forever. Um, but it, as long as we're improving, uh, a loss isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, it, it gives you – it shines a light on what you need to work on, and, and we've been working pretty hard. I think only one team has been a lower classification than you so far. Is that Hancock County? Um, yeah. No, Cherokee, In Providence, Crockett. I think. Providence is private, so I guess they're kind of yeah. like – on the side, like, yeah. I don't know how you yeah, so really equate that, them in there. Yeah, but so a that's, a good, school is, that's a good point that you bring. I didn't even think of that. Um, so you know, a lot of schools, bigger schools, have more people to choose from and, and have a bigger turnout. But uh, our girls are, are working hard, and I'm proud of them, and I, I'm proud of how hard they work every day in practice and how they don't back down. You know, we we come in with the mentality we're not going to back down, and and they did that. You know, the results may not show that that we played great, um, but we see. Some good things. We see bad things from from each of those games. You started out the week with a win, also over Cherokee. Yeah, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, it was a a good night to get everybody um, a lot of minutes. Um, we we came in waves, and I think we really uh, overwhelmed them with our our depth a little bit. Um, we missed a ton of shots in the first half again, but in the second half, I was really proud. We we really stuck the ball in the hole and um, got the win. You know, I think. Just about everybody scored, I think. Um, but you know, beyond that, I was really, ha- uh, really proud of how hard we played. Um, you know, we we talked about some other teams that that played really hard, and and that was our goal is to play hard no matter who we're playing. Um, so I feel like we took the fight to them instead of them t- bringing the fight to us. So I was really proud of that effort, and uh, it was a great night to get that win in front of the crowd. Um, you know, two of our three wins have been right here at home, and mm-hmm. we're excited. To, to host another couple here soon, um, tonight be one of them. But, you know, anytime we play here in L.A., we, we love the crowd support. We love our fans, and uh, it's a great night. That's what I was going to mention. You get to stay at home for a little while. Yeah. You've got two games coming up, University High and Hampton. We'll talk about those in just a second, though. We need to go ahead and cut to break first. So you'll be sitting here with us right after this break here on Grassroots Media. Pizza Inn offers contactless buffet to go with JoJo's Family Feast or anything on our menu for carryout. We also honor birthday parties and cater to businesses and large events. We make it easy. Call us today. Pizza Inn Greenville. Tommy's Plumbing has provided professional plumbing services to the residents of Greenville, Tennessee for over 30 years. Our experience and reputation have helped us grow our business to add locations in Jonesboro, Tennessee. Tommy's Plumbing is local and family owned and we offer a full line of plumbing services such as kitchen faucet, shower faucets, commodes and bathroom faucets as well as drain cleaning. We also provide outside plumbing work such as septic and sewer drain cleanouts as well as repair and replace. Tommy's Plumbing pretty much does it all. Tommy's Plumbing is licensed, bonded and insured. Our quality workmanship and passion to provide our clients with expert service is second to none. We guarantee we have the best warranty around. For all your plumbing needs, give Tommy's a call at 638-3662. Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Kyle Donahue Show, where we cover everything on the hardwood with the Chucky Doak Lady Black Knights basketball squad. As always, I'm joined here with head coach Kyle Donahue. So you got University High coming up tonight. Then you welcome Hampton into District 1-2-A next Tuesday night here at home. You get to stay put, stay comfortable here at home, 
in Lower After for a little bit. Talk yep. about both of those games coming up and what yep. you expect. I think UH um, is under new leadership. I think Bud Hazelwood has taken over. He's mm-hmm. from Hampton, so I uh, expect a lot of uh, different things that, that Hampton may be known for from the previous years. Uh, you know, they're always big on two two one presses and things like that. Uh, so they're much improved. Um, it's not going to be an easy, easy by any means. Um, I know last year as we went up there, the second game was a lot tougher. I think they started recruiting some people, and, and this year I think they've got even more people uh, in the program. So that's good for them. Uh, it's nice to have a, a, a game at home again, um, for, like we said, in, in front of the crowd and, and hopefully calm our nerves. Uh, and then looking forward to next week, you know, Hampton, obviously they're, they're Hampton. They're tough. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they've been a thorn in, in single-A side for years. Uh, now they're bumping up to our, our uh, class, and it's, you know, I don't know if everybody's happy or not. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but, it, you know, it's it's the next game in front of us. Uh, so we've got to take it one game at a time. We've not even started talking about Hampton. Um, but they're going to be tough. I think they're, they've got a new coach. That's all awesome. um, some new leadership, too. Yep. So it's <clears throat> it'll be a feeling out process of kind of what they're doing, and, and maybe we can look around for some tape and things. But... You know we're excited about hosting um, hosting them. You know, like we've always talked about, you got to win. If you're going to win the conference, you got to win your home games and, and take some on the road. Uh, win the games you're supposed to win. So we're excited about it and excited for the challenge. Um, we know it's going to be a challenge. And uh, welcome to to Double A. It was a fun night here for them last year, I would say. Or was it a fun night for you? It was more of a fun night for us. You know, it was senior night, and we came out and we played really, really well. And it was great to send our seniors off with a win. Um, Big win too. Over I think at the time they were ranked second in the state, maybe somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And it was, you know, our girls were excited, and and you know, it was a it was a fun night. Um, But you know, whatever happened last year is not going to happen this year, and we got to buckle down and and get back to work and, and keep the thing moving forward. I know there's not a rivalry there, but I know you would love to welcome them into the conference with a loss, considering it would allow you to jump out with a 1-0 record in the right. conference, yeah, which that's, is always special. That's the most important thing. You know, rivalries aside, you've got you to gotta win your home games, and you got to, especially the first first conference game, you want to start off on the right foot. You don't want to be behind the eight ball chasing people. Mm-hmm. The um, whole way. Yeah, you want to be able to control your destiny, and, and so – you know, it'll be a big game for us. Um, win or lose, we'll, we'll, the sun will still come up the next day, but we, we'd we definitely love to, to welcome them with a loss. But, you know, we're, we're going to continue to work. we got um, tonight, and we've got a couple days of practice to get ready for them, and, and so we're excited. In between that, you got Florida State football. Yes. Are you guaranteeing a win this weekend? I can't guarantee anything <laughs> with this college football season, but uh, I hope they, they play well. You know, they, we're on backup quarterback. Number one may end up being number two. Who knows what happens? Almost um, was number almost, two. Yeah. Almost. So I don't know what's going on. I've not looked into all that. But, uh, you know, it's a fun time to be a Florida State fan. Um, you know, it's 20 months ago we were talking about a loss to Jacksonville State. Um, so it's a great time to be in, in Coach Norvell. I think I said on here a couple years ago we're excited about Coach Norvell and what he brings uh-huh. and still are. Money Mike has, has done well. How many games in a row is it now? Is it 20? Um, I want to say 16 maybe. 16, okay. I knew it was, was it 2-4 and four you started last year and won six straight? I think so, yeah. So it's around that mark. Yeah. It's been a pretty good winning streak. It has been, State. yeah. Because I remember uh, right about the time I started high school was whenever they went on a pretty lengthy winning mm-hmm. streak with Jameis Winston. Yep. And uh, Coach, he's slipping my mind right now, just got fired. Jimbo Fisher. Jimbo Fisher, that's correct. What a team that was, national champions. I'm not predicting a national championship, but I am going to say that the only times that Florida State has won at Clemson and at Florida was 93-2013 and this year. I'm just throwing it out there. Hey, I'm just throwing it out there, guys. Watch if you want. I'm just saying. Hey. (laughs) You never know. You never know. It'll be a fun week of college football. Go Knowles. Unfortunately for me as a Texas fan. You get to sit and watch it all. i got to watch my team play at noon. Uh, and got to wait all the way until prime time to watch you guys to see if you, you win or lose. You don't have to worry about it. Don't even worry about Gonna it. Going to win? No. All right. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll just pull for Iowa instead. There you go. Perfect. Because I can't pull for Alabama. No. Because then that creates an even who worse can? situation. Go Knowles. Coach, that's all I got. Thanks, man. Best of luck tonight. Appreciate University it. University High. Uh, Episode two, but for you, episode one. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, two or one. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We'll say one.
Thank you all for watching this week's edition of the Kyle Donahue Show. Look forward to seeing you next time here on Grassroots Media. Go Black Knights!